What's up, everybody? We are doing a pork buyer's guide. Someone sent us a DM to do one, so we figured it's been a long time overdue. So let's get started. First of all, we have the Fiction Shank Forks. These are in the very popular 26 millimeter offset. It seems in 2019, 2020, we're moving more to the steep forks as a normal thing in BMX. So 26 millimeter offset seems to be the way to go. These are really affordable. They go for about $100 Canadian a piece and they're good quality. So if you're looking for something on a budget, these are definitely a good choice for you. There's a lot of other brands as well that do affordable forks. So check out the Fiction Shank Fork. Next, we have the very famous Odyssey line. This is the brand new one. It's called the Odyssey R15. It's a super steep fork, which seems to be what we're heading towards these days. Forks are getting a lot steeper. So the R15 is the next level of steepness for nose manuals. This one is lifetime warranty. Really nice looking fork. From there, we go on to the most famous Odyssey fork. This is the Odyssey R25. This seems to be pretty much industry standard. Most people want to learn to do nose manuals, tend to go with R25. It's a good offset and a really nice fork for learning nose manuals as well as good quality and lifetime warranty. So if you're looking for a fork, this is definitely your best bet. From there, more mid-school guys, maybe old school guys, maybe someone who's not really caring so much about nose manuals and just wants to ride some good street or park. This is the Odyssey R32. Definitely a really good selling fork and did very well many years ago as well as still till this day. So that's a great one by Odyssey. Again, lifetime warranty on that. Continuing with the old school, mid school guys, this is the Odyssey F32. And this is the same fork as the other ones, but this has front brake 990 mounts. And that's really good if you wanna learn front brake tricks or if you used to ride front brakes in the past maybe front brake tricks on ramps, this is a great option for you. Also lifetime warranty. If you like to switch things up a little bit and We The People is more of your thing, this is the We The People Patron Fork with a 25 millimeter offset. It is also lifetime warranty, which is really cool. So if you're a big fan of We The People, maybe you have a battleship frame or a doomsayer, this is definitely a nice addition to your We The People frame. So check out the We The People Patron. Another We The People item is the We The People Switch. And this is a super steep fork with a 23 millimeter offset and one cool thing about this fork is it has this welding invest casting thing going on here so that's kind of different to the other forks if you look at all the other forks they have a hole and this one's kind of built in so that's kind of cool so check that out also these are lifetime warranty moving more on to old school we got the very famous se landing gear fork and this is a one inch fork one inch threaded so it uses an old school headset to thread onto this and this fork has been around since the late 70s definitely was a really big go-to in the 80s so if you have an old school race build this is definitely a good choice for you this is more of my own collection this is going to go on one of my Haro masters this is an akasu freestyle fork these are pretty hard to find, but this is kind of what something like a freestyle fork would have looked like back in the 80s or 90s. Again, it has the threaded top and also some weird peg standers on there. You can also put them over here. And this has the holes over here too, which is kind of cool. If you need to put one of those stupid little fork clip things in, they go very well on those. You could also put them on the Fiction Shank forks. So that's kind of a weird thing too. Try to avoid the hook thing. It can be very annoying. This is just a generic mid-school fork. This is 1018, and this is just something you might want to put on one of your old-school or mid-school Haro or GT builds. The last thing, which is kind of an interesting thing that Odyssey did a couple years ago, it's called the Director Fork. And what this is, is there was a Flatland fork that Odyssey made that was zero offset, so the fork went straight down. And those were very popular and they were very popular for flatland this is 32 millimeter offset so if you look at it it bends out a little bit so it works the same as a normal fork but it has a little bit of an angle on it if you're looking for something a little bit retro and kind of cool this is called the odyssey director fork and it's very interesting kind of works a little bit different so those are hard to find but Maybe Google them and look out for them. So we've discussed many forks. We didn't really go into detail about flatland forks because it's not my specialty, but definitely flatland forks come in and out of the shop sometimes. So if you're looking for a flatland fork that's almost zero offset, you might want to research that. But we went through all the brands, all the qualities, lifetime warranty offsets, one and one eighth, one inch. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out some other buyer's guides up above and we'll see you next time.